Mall and we're meeting for the very first time so it's so exciting and this is Shanti from Shanti TV I just love how you do that <laughs> and you already know who I am so we're gonna do a tag today and this tag is gonna be all about LV so let's get started when and where did you lay eyes on LV? I first laid eyes on LV when a friend of mine walked in with an LV purse. That was the first time I had ever even known about LV. And that's that's the first time. And that was probably three years, three or four years ago. Oh, it's been a while. So for me, you guys already know the story. My really good, good friend like a collection of LV bags a long time ago when I was in college. And of course I could not afford an LV bag at that time. So that was a long time ago. Yeah, I just keep it like that. I'm old, so it was a long time ago. <laughs> but that's when I first fell in love with Louis Vuitton. What piece or pieces had you at Hello? Mm. So, <laughs> I would say my first piece that I ever purchased, which was the pouchette, the monogram. And then I would also say the piece that I just had to have when I saw it, two pieces, my Alma, my um, Vernie Alma in the Amarant, and also my Artsy and the Imperente print. When I saw that bag, I fell in it love. It was over. It was over. <laughs> but I didn't want to spend that much money on it, so I waited for a whole year, and I could not get it out of my head. So, yeah. That's wow. A whole year. Okay. And I wish I would have got it then, because, you know, that price. The price, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. ridiculous. Okay. So, the piece that had me at Hello was an Epi Alma oh, and an nice. Epi Speedy. So the, the friend that I had, she had those two pieces and I don't currently own an Alma. I still don't have it. It's one. on my list. You have to get an Alma. It's a handheld, so that's the thing. But you can use a strap. You can use a strap. Mm -hmm. So Alma is on my list and then Epi Speedy, I do have one. Yeah, you have that ivory one. Yeah. It's beautiful. I do have that. I wish I would have got that one too. Now it's discontinued and you can't even get it. Which <laughs> It's crazy to me. How old were you when you first met Louis Vuitton? Uh, so I'm gonna have to say my age, I guess. Then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna say 32, 33. Okay, I was 20. 20. Woo! Yeah, but it's a. Yeah. yeah. I laid eyes, right? Yeah, I didn't laid get, eyes. I didn't yeah, get, laid eyes. I laid, I laid eyes. eyes. You're right, you're I right. Like, yeah, I didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> but I laid eyes. Laid okay. Eyes How long have you had a relationship with Louis? Since 2003. That's when we started our official relationship. <laughs> <laughs> our love affair. <laughs> okay. I would say 2009. Ah, when I started okay. my official relationship. Well, I'm just thinking, it's been a decade for me. <laughs> wow, that's been a long time. And I, ooh, I need to branch off though. I'm just, okay. Was Monogram your first kiss? No. Oh, yeah, no, no. that was good. No, as a matter of fact, I hated Monogram. When really? I first started LV, I hated Monogram. I fell in love with Epi. Epi is beautiful. And and that's what I got. And, and and I remember the essay tried to bring out monogram. She's like, well, what about this? And I'm like, no, I don't want that. And part of it was because I knew it was more showy. Yeah. And I didn't want yes. everybody to know that I was carrying around that bag. So, no. For me, it was. My first, one, two, my first three pieces were monogram. And then, and then I got the a bean, and I didn't like it at first. Oh. Because I was like, it's so masculine. Oh, okay. But then it darker. grew on me, yeah. and now I really love it. I really love it. So, yes, it was my first kiss. Okay, here's a good one. <laughs> have you ever cheated on Louis? I have. So when I purchased my first bag in 03, well, it was a little bag, but nothing really major. In 03... You already know 
know my husband threw that away. Huh? You didn't see that video? Yeah, I guess I did. You gotta watch. <laughs> she's wrong. She gotta watch that video. <gasps> it was yes. You gotta watch that video. He threw it away. Yes. He didn't know anything about Louis Vuitton at the time, and he threw it away. You have to watch that video. <laughs> okay. I had somehow missed that. So you missed it. So I did buy a all leather, and I still have that bag to this day. An all leather black coach bag. I bought that bag in 2000 and. I thought that I purchased that bag in 2005, and I've never purchased any other bag since then, other than Louis Vuitton. And I only use, I really don't, I don't use it. Only when I travel internationally and I'm like kind of cautious of where I'm going, I'll take that bag. Okay. But yeah, what about you? So yes, I have cheated on Louis. <laughs> only once after I started buying. Okay. You already answered seven, so I'll go into that, which is who did you cheat with? Oh. And I cheated with Prada. Prada, my God. I cheated with Prada, all leather bag. Mm. I, It's the color that got me. I, it's I, a nice I, color. I couldn't resist. It's like a real dark purple, but it looks oh, black. Like the Amarant. It's similar D to D that. D oh, that's beautiful. It's similar to that, yeah. Well, let me throw a question in there. Are you planning on cheating in the future? <laughs> So I am. I, I think I think it's time to it is break time. out. A I agree. Bit. I agree. You know? I, I agree hundred percent. I'm a little nervous about doing it because I don't know much about other because I've yeah. spent so much time with Louis. Exactly. So I'm a little nervous That's about fun. cheating. But I think I could go out there a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be okay. I think I need to. Because like when I look at my closet, it's like no diversity. Yeah. It's like okay, I need to do something different yeah so i've been looking at um on youtube of course watching everybody else's unboxings i've seen of course chanel chanel oh, is very course. nice of i like course. chanel and then also um celine oh celine celine nice yes 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 so in the future no time soon <laughs> so. oh wow this is a hard one if yeah. you only if you only could have one piece of Louis Vuitton, which one would it be and why? And that's a hard one. Oh, man. That's hard. That's hard. One piece only. That's it. <laughs> that's too hard. It is. Um, okay. Oof. That's a tough one. I'm going to say it's going to be a speedy. Oh, you it's going to be a size 30. Yeah, same with me. And what print? If I only could have one, one. it's going to be a bean. Exact same thing. I was going to say, I really was. I was going to pick my Speedy 30 and a bean. If I could only have one, because it's very versatile. You can wear it in the winter, yeah. summer, rain, snow. Yeah. I would pick that one. Yeah. But it would be hard. It would uh, be, it would be <laughs> awful. <laughs> but be if awful. I had to pick one, that's that's the one that I would pick. Okay. What about an accessory? What accessory would you pick to go along with it? I know my accessory. The, the accessory that I use the most right now is going to be my pochette. Ah, inside your bags. Inside your bags. So I would say that for now. You would say? Okay. I would. I, if I got, if I chose that bag as my only bag, I would need a pop of color. So I would pick my um, Vernie in the Palme Zippy Wallet. Okay. Just a little pop of color. Yeah. Okay. What makes Louis so special to you? Oh man, it was my first love. And other than that, the history of Louis Vuitton is really amazing. Like if you actually research the history, how they first got started. I really enjoy learning about that. So that makes it really special to me. And the heritage that they they have, that really, that's really one thing that I love. I absolutely agree with that. I think the history behind Louis Vuitton and knowing that people from other generations mm, used to carry the same bag. The same. The same bag. The same, it's amazing. And so the timelessness of the yes. Louis Vuitton bag yes. and then 
feeling that I'm getting something that I can then pass on to my daughter. And it's so true. That she's going to, so you know, and when she's love. 20, she's going to be like, oh, my mom carried that bag, so I want to carry that Isn't bag. Isn't that amazing? And I don't think, other than Chanel, because I know Chanel, you know, you can pass it down. Yeah. But any other designer, I don't yeah, see it being I don't need as, that. okay, 30 years from now, you can purchase the same exact bag. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah. So I love that. Yeah. So let's see. The last question. It's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Does Louis Vuitton keep you satisfied? <laughs> All night long. <laughs> No. So if, if, if I had to stop right now, then yes. Do, yeah. I mean, like, do I have all the bags I could ever need? Absolutely. Yeah, because so for me, I have, like, the Speedy, which I absolutely love. Alma is still on my list. You gotta get the Alma. So, get the Alma. so I think once I have those key pieces, mm -hmm. yes. Do I like the other things that come up? Yes. So in one way, yes, they, it keeps me satisfied because I can have the key pieces, but in another way, if they bring out some new stuff, okay, I could have it, but I could say no too. So yeah, it's like a, a yes and no kind of an answer. Exactly. For me, before YouTube, <laughs> because YouTube opened up a new door for me with other designers that oh. I typically don't see here. Oh, okay. okay. Like the Celine, of course yep. I see the the Chanel's, but the Celine's and the, um, the Prada bags, things like that. So before you two completely satisfied, I felt that I didn't want any other designer but Louis Vuitton. But now that I'm looking at what I currently have, basically I have pretty much everything that I would want. So now I want to venture out to try new things. So it, kept, new yeah, waters. it kept me satisfied. So now I'm ready to explore. So I guess, but like you, before I was like, oh my gosh, I was like a fiend, mm -hmm. like, oh my God. As soon as I purchased a bag, I was looking Think for my about next, the next bag. One. Yes, yeah. oh my gosh, I was like just going crazy. But now it's like, I don't have that urge anymore. That's good. I know, it good is for good. your pocket. Exactly, <laughs> I know. Who are you telling, I know. <laughs> so, yep, so I'm satisfied. So does it keep me satisfied? It has, but you know, going forward, I think I'm gonna go try some other designers. Okay, cool. Okay, guys, so that was our short little tag. Louis Lovers yeah, tag. Yeah, Louis Lovers tag that Shanti actually created. So thank you, Shanti. You're welcome. Very nice of you. So guys, we tag you out there to do this tag because I think it's a lot of fun. Yep. And until next time, guys, you have a good one. Bye. See ya.